Now is the time, Portal Master. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Mike with SkylanderNuts.com. I'm here today to start our Skylander Superchargers character reviews. Now, you'll notice that Connor and Lias are not with me today. They've decided that reviews are too boring and they'd rather just play the game. So we're going to leave them to the gameplay videos and I'm going to do the character reviews myself. That means I'm going to focus a little bit more on gameplay this year and a little less on the characters. But I still want to get to show you what the characters look like and how the kids uh, play with them, what they think about them. So today we're going to start with Shark Shooter Terrafin. Now Terrafin is the sixth or seventh version of this character that we've had in Skylander so far. However, he is now a Superchargers character. And in the past, a character like Terrafin, who has been in previous games, could be used in those previous games. But this guy cannot. Terrafin is no longer backwards compatible with the other games. So he cannot go into Swap Force or any of the other games. And this is because he is now a supercharger. And these guys have a brand new set of attacks, which is one reason why I want to go over and review them. Because he's not the same Terrafin that everyone who's played with him before uh, knows and loves. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I guess we'll find out. So let's take a look at his character first. Here he is. You'll notice his major difference here is his new weapon. This is a shark shooting rocket, okay? This is going to change him from a melee character to a little bit more of a ranged character. Now he still has the ability to get up close and fight, but he's not throwing punches anymore like he used to. So if you didn't like him because he didn't do much or he punched, now's your chance to do something different. Now we'll also notice he's got some armor on his body now. He never used to have armor. He used to be pretty plain, just a shark with some fighting like things on his hands or something some claws he had brass knuckles once but now he's got a rocket launcher and now he's got armor so this armor is kind of a nice improvement it just gives his character a little more flair now one of the problems with Terrafin before was he was kind of boring he was kind of boring to look at I mean he's cool that he's a shark but he didn't have much of a costume uh, now he does it's a gray kind of brown earth like it looks like rock even, you know, which is pretty cool. Um, it's exactly the kind of armor you would expect an uh, earth shark to have. So there's Terrafin. Pretty cool. I like the improvements they made and I definitely like this gun. Alright, now here is his Superchargers signature vehicle. This is the Shark Tank. It is a land vehicle as you can see and it's also still another earth element vehicle. That's going to matter when you play the vehicle element challenges. You'll have to have a vehicle of the um, exact type that they want to be able to do that. So this guy's pretty cool. He kind of looks like the Batmobile. You know, he's it's kind of triangular in shape. It's a one-seater, although you can still play in co-op. <laughs> Looks like he's got some rockets in the back for some extra power. He's got a lot of spikes on the wheels. Elias really likes spiky things, so he kind of likes his vehicle. Both boys like to play with the vehicle. It rolls pretty well. It's got three wheels on the bottom, one here, here, and here. Um, the vehicle itself is supposed to be based off of like a tractor, okay? Not necessarily wheels, but you know, it does have wheels on the bottom, so it actually does roll, and it rolls pretty well. And the shark fin up here, it's pretty nice to grab onto, too. So, the boys really enjoy playing with this as a toy. Alright. So, there they are together. When you have both these together, you get the supercharged bonus in the game. Uh, it's not much of a bonus. I think it's just a little extra armor on both the uh, vehicle and the character, but... The more uh, you build up the vehicle, the more, I think, bonus you might get. So, all right, there you go. There's Shark Shooter Terrafin and the Shark Tank. Now I'm going to get into the game. Uh, we're going to go through both the attacks of Terrafin here and the attacks of the Shark Tank. And we'll see how they compare and maybe which one, if any, you should pick up of these. So we'll be right back in a second with some gameplay for Terrafin. Shark Tank. 
Terrafin. Turbo Slick Belts. Ballistic Drill Missile. Supercharge. All right, well, I've got Shark Shooter Terrafin and the Shark Tank on the portal. Now, this year, because we don't have uh, arena challenges like we did before, I am in the game and I have chosen to go to Battle Brawl Island. That's our only level in the game this year that featured arena battles. So, this is where I'm going to be playing each and every one of our gameplay segments for our reviews this year. And I'm going to play this for a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to finish it. I'm going to show off all the moves. And then we're going to switch over to the vehicle section where I'm going to go to the Ride Apocalypse Demo Derby, which is our only vehicle based arena battle. And we'll quickly show off the attacks of uh, the Shark Tank. So, are we ready? I think we are. Let's get into the game and start this arena battle. I've already skipped through all the cutscenes. We're ready to go. Now the first attack I'm going to show off is his basic attack. I'm going to try to jump and dodge these guys for a little bit. Just pressing the attack one button is going to shoot these sharks. You can see them go. Some of them will. Uh, they might hit them in the air. That's okay. Or if they don't, they're going to go in the ground and go attack them. Just like that. Whoa. Getting hit by these fire things. I don't even know what those are. So this attack is called Ballistic Frenzy, and it's probably the one you're going to use the most because you're just going to spam the X button like this. I'm going to do it right now against these guys. See? He's almost dead. Dead enough that they're throwing boulders at me and moving to, I think, the other boss. I don't know. Just have to dodge a little bit here. Well, when they come back, I'm going to show the Earth Swim Blast. This is... His other attack, when we hit the second button, we go underground, just like that. And it, we can survive for a while, and nothing, I don't think, can hit us until we pop out. He'll eventually pop out like that. But see, I totally missed the blast. So it's a good way to dodge stuff. Now, if you do hit the attack one button, he'll come out and slam the ground. Did you see that? Didn't really work very well against these guys. Nope, not at all, really. So we're going to take him out with our... Ballistic Frenzy again. Just leveled up. Only got a couple more levels to go with Terrafin, but he's doing pretty good. Alright, now I'm going to get a food. Yeah, there we go. Some sheeps. So I'm going to show you this Earth Swim Blast on the sheep because it's easier since they don't attack me back. I'm going underground. And then we're going to hit the X button. Whoops. Well, there we go. You see that he quickly comes up and he shoots the ground. Only when I do it on purpose, though. If you don't do it, he sometimes comes up. He'll come up automatically. Watch when I hit a sheep. Oh, well, maybe not. When he when Terrafin hits something underground, uh, he will pop up unexpectedly. So it's tough. But there it is, there it is again. I'm just holding the X, uh, the X button because I'm on the Xbox, but you'd hit the attack one button, whatever your main attack is. And it's a, it's not a great attack, but if you're close to somebody, it'll do some damage. All right, now we have an upgrade called Slam Support. When I hold the, when I press the Y button, he shoots rockets into the ground and then they come up out of the ground and then rain down back on enemies and this will go on as long as you hold the button down so for these sheep it's gonna wipe out most of them I don't know why they need to give me so much food in between rounds look at all this food it won't stop until I kill enough sheep but uh, I don't care what level you're playing on a couple pieces of food is all you need and then you can save these for the other rounds and it'll be helpful but kinda strange how they give you so much food Alright, so this is the slam support, and it's actually a little bit more powerful since I've upgraded it with our Shark Team Squadron path, but uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. Yes, yes, my leapshits, grow to the wall! I also have a couple other minor upgrades. One is called Seek or Swim. That allows my Ballistic Frenzy Rockets just to do more damage, so you really can't notice that happening. 
And the other one is called Captain Seconds Russell Please. Dash. And this is going to cause those rockets to attack twice or hit the enemy twice. Let's see if that happens. Can't tell when they're in the air. But I don't know if they hit him twice when they're in the air. I'm going to try to get away from him. He's not the fastest guy. I keep hitting him in the air. Let's go underground. Nope. Can't get away fast enough to have him actually... There, that one went in. Well. Supposedly, it'll happen twice. Oh, bomb bombs. Alright, those can be bad. Spam those guys. Alright, now let's show you that uh, slam support again. It's our third button attack. Let's see how it takes out these guys. Now, you're vulnerable. Those guys are hitting me while I'm shooting, while they're falling on them. It takes some time for those rockets to go up. You can see I lost quite a bit of damage, so I'm going to grab some food. It's a pretty cool attack, but you just can't sit there the whole time. You will get hit by lots of ranged enemies and other things. Uh, so it's not the best if you can't move around. But it does work for some of those smaller characters. Um, let's see. Well, I guess what I really just showed you was surface to air to surface missiles. When you hold it down, that's what that is. Um, but that's an upgrade. Before I got that upgrade, just hitting the... That's all that would happen when you hit the Y button. That right there. Sorry. So this is slam support. That's the first upgrade you get. It's it's just like a, slam, a pound, ground pound attack, really. But when you buy the surface to air to surface missiles, that's when you hold it down and those guys come out. Now you can see when I'm close to them, the sharks are hitting them as they come out of the ground. That's actually another upgrade. That's an upgrade in our specialized path and it's called what goes up. So that one allows those sharks to do damage when they come out of the ground and extra damage when they actually land. Whoa. Try to get a couple last hits on them there. There we go. And uh, another good reason to play this arena over again is you get a lot of experience points. Alright, so that is all of the basic upgrades. Um, as I said, the what goes up, that's part of the Shark Team Squadron path that I chose. Uh, there are two other upgrades in that path worth talk talking about, I guess. One is called Three Best Fins. When you press the Y button while you are underground, like this. So you're underground, and you hit the Y button. It sends sharks out. See that? It actually sends uh, three sharks out. Before, um, before you get that upgrade, it would just show one. We'll just send out one shark. So it's pretty cool to have three of them. And as you can see, they also were homing. Unlike the Ballistic Frenzy, which just kind of sent sharks out straight. These sharks, during that attack, will actually hunt down their enemy. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Now we got some cool attacks to try to show off. The last upgrade in the Shark Team Squadron path is called Land Shark. So when I hold down the X button, it's going to create a, a mortar icon or a, a reticle that you can move around. And that's going to um, create a whirlpool and a large land shark attack. So let's see if I can do that here after I dodge one of these. Oh, there it was. So there's the reticle, I release it over there, it hits him, creates a vortex and then he gets eaten by the shark. Was that not cool? That was pretty cool, that's my favorite attack. I'm going to try to get away from these fake undead guys and do it again. So I'm going to hold the X button, shoots a couple sharks out, oh I killed him. That's no good, probably you'll see the shark in a second, there we go. Alright, so there's the orange reticle, put it under the guy shoot him with that mortar it's gonna do some damage and then boom that guy comes up does proceed well I don't know how much damage he's doing to that guy I have seen it 
be in the hundreds before, so it's a pretty good attack. Alright, Spell Slams are taking me to a secret special level, which is pretty easy. Slam you again. There it is. That was 200 damage. You could kind of see it right at the end. If I back up, you might see the numbers at the top. That was 149, so it must have had a critical hit that other time. Let's see if I can eat one of these spell punks up again. Boom. Looks like he's eating him, but it's just enough points to kill him. It's pretty cool though. Get that life spell punk. Now I kind of think that should have been the um, the soul gem ability attack because the soul gem attack here that I'm going to show you is not as exciting as that and usually the soul gem attacks probably should be the most exciting attack that you have. Um, but it's called Sand Snare. And what you do is you, while you're swimming under the ground, you're going to try to jump, which is basically, I think, the A button, maybe it's X button. Let me see. Yeah, it's the A button. So you're going to go underground, and you're going to hold the A button down. It's going to create a whirlpool like that. That keeps the enemy still. Let's see if I can do it to this guy. Does some damage, and then that's it. There's no shark coming out of the ground. There's no finisher, kind of. It's just the same nine um, elemental damage points that he was getting when he did the mortar strike. And it created a whirlpool under him. Now it'll hold characters that move a lot. It'll hold them still. But... For him, you know, it's just not doing that much damage. It's not really worth using. So, in order to finish him off, I go back to the Mortar Strike, which is much more exciting. And once you fire it, well, he, once you fire it, you can move around and dodge everything else and wait for that shark to come out. It might not work on uh, enemies that move around a lot. You kind of have to guess where he's going to be when that shark comes up because it's taking quite a bit of time. But... For these spell punks to stay in the same spot and for the boss enemies like that, it's not that big a deal. Oops, I released that poorly. Oh, but it sucked him in, see? It's just so much better than the soul gem attack. So don't worry about that soul gem attack and get this attack if you want to do this specialized path. And I'll finish the rest of these guys off. That is all the attacks that we can show. For Shark Shooter Terrafin. Uh, there's another upgrade path that I'll talk about here in a second. Uh, let me beat the rest of these guys. Oh, I guess I beat them quicker than I thought. Now, even though he has ranged shark rocket attacks, you can just stand next to somebody and hit him pretty good too. I mean, he's not a melee character anymore, but you can still kind of use him like one. All right, got my final. Oh, I didn't need the experience, but I got some more experience. All right, so that's going to do it for Sharkshooter Terrafin. His other upgrade path is called All Terrain Trooper Path, and this is going to upgrade his swimming attacks. So one attack is called Mentor Program, and in this one, you're going to put, press the attack three button uh, while you're doing your earth swim to make a big, large ally shark that lasts longer and does more damage and hits the enemy multiple times. I'd kind of like to see that. That sounds pretty good. Our upgrade was the three best fins, which sent out three mini sharks while you did that. And that's not too exciting. It didn't do that much damage. I don't think I even bother using that attack very much. Uh, then there's one called Finesse. Um, during the Earth Swim Blast, your speed is increased. That would be helpful. 
and you have a fancy new shark fin, which will actually damage enemies. So as you're um, speeding around underground, avoiding all the attacks, you will also be damaging the enemies you run into instead of being popped up out of the ground. So that sounds like that would be pretty powerful. Um, so I might recommend that path, even though I didn't choose it. And then the last upgrade is called Mega Boom Flop. And for all those people out there who remember the other Terrafins and are used to playing with the old Terrafins, um, everyone knows that one of his best attacks was when he went underground and then he'd pop out and do a big belly flop on everybody around him. Well, that's what this is. It's the press the attack one button while you're underground and he'll fire rockets and perform a powerful belly flop. Now, the regular attack that I showed you, the slam support uh, and the earth swim blast where he goes underground, comes up and shoots a rocket down, that attack doesn't have as wide area of effect as the old Terrafin be belly flop. So I'm assuming this would have um, about maybe the same range of attack and kill lots of enemies around you. Whereas the one today, you have to be right on top of an enemy to do any damage to him. So it sounds like it might be a good um, upgrade, but it's also one that you're probably familiar with. And that's probably the main reason I did not choose that path is because I was familiar with that attack and I wanted to see three new attacks that used the rockets. So uh, all in all, I have a pretty good time with Terrafin. He's not the best Skylander. He doesn't have the widest uh, range of quality moves. But I definitely like the land shark attack. I definitely like the ability to swim underground and avoid attacks. And I think he can be a pretty good character to use if you just um, kind of take some time to learn his abilities and use them in the right spots. Um, and if you just like the button mash, there's nothing wrong with this ballistic frenzy and shooting those sharks out of people. It does a pretty good job. All right, so... Now let's move on to the shark tank. I'm going to take a second here to set up the Ride Apocalypse Demo Derby, and I will be right back. All right, see, I'm back. That didn't take any time at all, did it? All right, so I'm now set up at the Ride Apocalypse Demo Derby, and I'm not going to play through the entire level because uh, three waves, whatever, we don't need that many waves to show off the shark tank's moves. There's only two basic attacks for each vehicle, so um, that's pretty much all we have to show off. So let's get into our battle. Pause, folks. It's time to celebrate with an air assault on all your senses. All right, so his let's first basic attack are shark missiles, and they do hone in on the enemies. As you can see, I'm shooting toward the enemy. And as long as there's a green marking on it, whoop, not that time, it'll come back and attack him like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, it, it allows you just to kind of skirt around the level like this and just fire some rockets. Now, if you're shooting completely behind him, that's not going to work. But if you get if you run by him, see with the green when the green reticle is on him, it'll. Um, home in on the enemy and eventually most of the time it'll hit it. Alright now we got some little guys up so I'll show you his other attack and what do you think that would be like? Just like Terrafin, he, uh, the shark tank can go underground. We hit the Y button or underground. And I don't know if it's my shields or what but doing some damage while underground. Yep. He will, unlike Terrafin though, he does do damage while you're underground. He also doesn't take damage. If you look at my damage bar, I'm underground, I'm hitting these guys, nothing's happening. So, not a bad tactic to use on arena battles and places where you have to shoot things. But as you can tell, it also makes him slow. Look how slow he's going. This is not a race uh, move to use. In fact, in race, Terrafin is really slow. And you can see his top speed here, not very good. Um, he's not, he, I don't think he's going to be the worst land vehicle in a race, but he's pretty close. Um, just not very good. I think you can get by maybe at the normal races. If you tried really hard, you might be able to win a hard level race with him. Uh, I tried several times to win a hard level race with him. Couldn't do it, so I went to somebody faster and had no problem 
Uh, so he is not really. The Shark Tank is not a character you want to use to do racing. Um, I don't know. If I spend a whole lot of time with him, I might be good at some advanced tactics of, you know, more attack based, less speed to sabotage all my competitors. But I've not done that yet. And I don't think it's worth spending all that time. Oh, here comes the Dread Roller. Alright, but I think that's all I need to show with the Shark Tank. Two basic attacks. Just his missiles here. Does a pretty good job. And then go on the ground. Not hitting me. Not hitting me. You can play a little bit of a hit and run with this tactic. Wait for him to shoot. Pop up, hit him. Oh, I popped up too early. Um, but that's all there is to it. So I'm just going to stop that there. Um, I definitely probably would pass on the Shark Tank if you can't, you know, get all the vehicles. I think there may be other vehicles that are more worthwhile. Um, we'll have to see when I do all the rest of the reviews. Maybe Shark Tank will be good enough just for its offensive powers and its attack abilities but uh, as far as a racing car goes not too good um, not too many other land vehicles though that might be better um, shield striker I don't think that one I think that has handling problems as well um, thump truck not so sure the tomb buggy isn't out yet but I would have imagined that one's better so we'll have to see I would say wait for now unless you really are a Terrafin lover and you'd like to have everything supercharged. So, all right, that's going to wrap up our Shark Tank review and our Shark Fin, or uh, Shark Shooter Terrafin, Shark Fin, hey, there there you go, uh, review. Visit us at SkylanderNuts.com and you can read a full review if, in case I forgot anything. I don't think I did, though. We're given... Um, uh, Terrafin, we're going to give a 7.5 score out of 10. Uh, it's a little better than Terrafin's in the past. Uh, in the past, I have not liked Terrafin that much. And we're giving the Shark Tank a 5.5, which is pretty mediocre. Um, it can do a lot of things better, and it could do a lot of things worse. So kind of right down the middle of the road. So if you want a full explanation, read our review at SkylanderNuts.com. And until next time, keep having fun playing Superchargers. And I'll be back again next week with another Skylanders Superchargers review. See you then.